this is Hannah, and guess what? Today, I have some good news about these overwintering Polyphemus moth cocoons. A few weeks ago, one of the Polyphemus moth cocoons was lost due to parasitic flies. There was two large cocoons and one small cocoon. And out of the three cocoons, it was the small one that got attacked by maggots. So there were only two cocoons. The month of January wrapped up and February started. I continued to care for the remaining Polyphemus moth cocoons, and all went well. On February 14, we went out to Liburn Park to enjoy a nice, peaceful evening. While there, I noticed a lot of oak trees that did not lose their dead leaves from the fall. I was walking under those trees and looking for Polyphemus moth cocoons when I noticed some silk between some leaves. I walked over to get a closer look, and indeed, it was a Polyphemus moth cocoon. I took it down from the tree and removed some of the leaves, checking it for any holes from parasites. Thankfully, there were none, so I took it home. There were now three cocoons again. So, I cared for the three Polyphemus moth cocoons. It was great to have three cocoons again, but guess what? On February 19, we were walking at the park when I noticed a cocoon hanging low on a branch of an oak tree. I got a closer look and took the cocoon down from the tree. It didn't have any parasite holes in it, which was a good sign. I was excited because if this cocoon was healthy, it would make up for the fourth cocoon, but it sounded quite dry inside when I shook it. Was this cocoon okay, or was it dead? I continued to wonder what I would do with this cocoon. But then, the cocoon gave us a clear message to let us know that it was not dead, but alive and healthy. Some butterflies or moths, while in the pupa stage, wiggled when disturbed or touched, as a defense mechanism to scare off predators. Here, in some of my old videos from the past spring and summer, you can see the chrysalises and pupae wiggling when I touch them. In this case, I was shaking the cocoon to see what I could hear inside. At first, what I heard was nothing different than the sound I had heard earlier. It just sounded dry. I couldn't tell if it was okay or not. It didn't sound that heavy. But then, I heard another sound. A sound that before I did not hear. It was the sound of wiggling. The pupa inside had picked up to me shaking it, and it had started wiggling. It was a great sign to hear the cocoon wiggling. I now knew that it was alive and was not dead, and I no longer needed to worry. I misted all four of the cocoons with a spray bottle and put them back into the jar. Then the next day, I heard some of the other cocoons wiggling, too. Not just the one I had found the day before, but also some of the cocoons I had been caring for for about a month, and never, ever heard them wiggling, until now. It is great to know that they are alive, and hopefully they continue to stay like this. I will continue to search for more Polyphemus moth cocoons. I hope that more are found and that in the next couple of months that they bring us to have beautiful adult polyphemus moths. Bye everyone, see you next time.